All right. It's time for me to put my two cents worth in Jamal Bowman. Good morning, everyone. Hope you got your coffee ready. Here we go. Socialist rep. Well, that's the problem right there. <laughs> Socialist representative Jamal Bowman. Democrat, New York. Pulled the fire alarm in a House office building Saturday as Democrats tried to delay a bipartisan vote on a Republican stopgap spending bill. <laughs> the wording here is hysterical, too, by the way. Uh, this is a... <laughs> this is just too... It's just too comical. The wild incident. It was pandemonium. The wild incident in the Cannon Building was caught on camera. Caught on camera? And confirmed by several eyewitnesses. I want to see that video footage. I want to see that video footage. All right, let's 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 see this video footage. <laughs> Yes, All right, there you have it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> An investigation into why it was pulled is underway. We have got to get to the bottom of this. We have got to get to the bottom of this. Okay. A spokesman for the GOP Controlled Administration Committee... They have a committee. Good Lord. <laughs> Told the Post confirming the incident. Okay. Okay. As Bowman took heat for the incident, he insisted to the reporters afterwards that he pulled the alarm handle because he thought it would open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this man worked at a school. <laughs> Apparently so. I was rushing to make my vote. I was trying to get through a door. I thought the alarm would open the door, he said. <laughs> he goes on to say, I didn't mean to cause confusion. I didn't know it was going to trip the whole entire building. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can't you can't make this stuff up. He also added, I want to be very clear, crystal clear. Listen to me now. I want to be clear. This was not me. I would never do such a thing. In any way. Trying to delay the vote. It was the exact opposite. <laughs> I was trying to urgent, urgently get to the vote, which I ultimately did. The move came as Democrats were desperately employing tactics. Oh my God, were they employing tactics? I want some more evidence. Emp employing tactics to delay the vote, including Democrat leader Represent Harcum Jeffries, Brooklyn, Queens, using his privilege to make a speech and forcing a vote on a motion to adjourn. We ain't got time for this. Uh, I motion we adjourn. We come back after the weekend. Let's get it together. I got a party to go to. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. This is cracking me up. Bowman said he met with the sergeant at arms 
at the Capitol Police and explained his side of the story. <laughs> I have my side of the story, man. I'm going to tell you what happened. And it's not what you think. Adding my hope is still no one will make more of these, of this, than what it is. Don't, don't, don't make it out to what more than it is, okay? Okay? I thought it was going to open the damn door, man. I was just trying to do my job. The far-left lawmakers' political opponents, however, weren't in the mood to hear any excuses for some saying he could be guilty of a felony. Okay. Staten Island GOP Representative Nicole Mal Malkus <laughs> office told the Post she would move to have Bowman expelled from the chamber. Get him out of here. He pulled that fire alarm. That no good dirty rat. He's trying to disrupt this proceedings. I wonder if he did that in high school. Oh man. Oh man. This is uh this is awesome. Okay. New York Democrat Jamal Bowman literally pulled a fire alarm to stall and prevent all efforts to force a vote to keep the federal government open. It is pathetic. Criminal investigation needs to happen, said upstate GOP Congressman Nick Landworthy. We've got to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Creating a false alarm is a misdemeanor in the District of Columbia and punishable by up to six months in jail. Oh, my God. <laughs> no one in this court is above the law. No one. Bowman himself said just months ago in a tweet. Yeah, them tweets will get you every time, bite you in the ass. Once you do it, it comes back, baby. <laughs> Six months ago, in a tweet, attacking former President Trump and applauding its various indictments. Throw a book at him! New York rep Elsa Stolfer. Claimed that Bowman's stunt amounted to a felony. Throw the book at him. In addition to the false report emergency misdemeanor charge, pulling the fire alarm could also possibly constitute illegal obstruction of congressional proceedings. And that is a federal felony. That's a federal felony. <laughs> oh my gosh uh, I'm going to post this article so y'all can read it it's just not fitting on my screen Bowman could be also potentially be charged with obstruction of justice under D.C. law which includes corruptly or by threats of force any way obstructs or impedes or Endeavors to obstruct or impede the due administration of justice in any official building. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said he would have a discussion. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to them about this. We're going to have a meeting. At lunch. <laughs> I'm going to discuss this with the Democrat leader. We're going to talk about Jamal Bowman's situation. Because, you know, the GOP wants to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> oh, my God. But this should not go without punishment. This is an embarrassment, McCarthy said in a press conference on Saturday. We are appalled. <laughs> We are in, we're completely embarrassed by this. This man 
pull the fire alarm. The speaker added that he would call for a, a probe into the matter by the House Ethics Committee. We're, we're pulling out no stops here. Pulling out no stops. This is the United States Congress. Okay. Not a New York City high school. <laughs> to pull the fire alarm to disrupt proceedings. Well, we are trying to draft legislation to avert a shutdown. We're trying to do our job. This is pathetic. Even for members of the socialist squad. Oh, my God. He's a socialist. <laughs> uh, Representative Green of Georgia. Rip the far left pole for disrupting Saturday's activities for demanding that the Department of Justice prosecute him for obstruction of an office official proceeding. The same charge that has been used against January 6 rioters. Oh my God. <laughs> the Democrats literally will do anything to shut down our government down because billions aren't going to their favorite country, Ukraine. <laughs> the Republicans won't let us send more money to Ukraine. <laughs> Fuck the border. <laughs> we don't care about America. <laughs> we just want our money for Ukraine. Please. Jamal, go pull the fire alarm, okay? All right? And you go stall on the floor and tell them we need to adjourn because we got shit to do. Okay. There he is, pulling the alarm. And look, underneath here it says, uh, a wild incident in the Cannon Building was caught on camera. <laughs> Why are we only getting still shots of this? Okay, let me... Fuck. All right. All right. Oops. <laughs> All right, I left that blooper in there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was like, okay. I had a mishap. I'm just going to leave it, leave it in there. But yeah, this was caught on camera. Why are we only getting still shots of this? What What do you think he was doing? Like he's doing this? Okay. Coast is clear. Check for cameras. I don't see a, I don't see a damn camera. All right. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going to push this. And we're all going to go out. We're going to get an early lunch. It's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i hope y'all enjoyed this as much as i did it was fun um this was a new york post article i'll drop the description in the link and you guys can go can go read it uh i'm still learning tech stuff and, and it just didn't go back over and i'm like oh my god because i'm lame i'm super lame i'll be the first to admit it but anyway that was fun and that is what's happening. Everyone, have a great day, and thank you.